So, I don't know how much I'm even going to talk in this video. I don't wake up gorgeous. Anyway, I already have tinted moisturizer on. So, my goal is to do like a pink, purple, unicorn-ish. Like, yesterday... I did the blue, so today I want to do like a purple type deal. This is the um, medium concealer. I think perhaps I will end up getting the light, but... It doesn't really matter because it's going underneath foundation anyway. This is very thick. You want to make sure you tap it in. Hey Fifi, getting getting pretty. Um, all the sales I posted, they're probably like four or five posts down by now. Um, this is some good primer. Good primer. I'm about to get gorgeous. Because we're going to go out for Fifi's birthday. So here's a little tip. When you're putting your primer on, don't smear it. Tap it in. Because you want your primer to fill in your pores. So you want to kind of like tap it in like this. And then let it dry. So, I'm going to show you guys some of the palettes I'm going to be working with today. We have Carity Smoke. We have this one I'm kind of scared to use because I don't know how high quality it is and I'm really afraid that it's going to fall out. But um, the only way to tell is by using it. So, I do want to really try out this purple here. Of course, the old standby for purple, the Morphe 350P. And here is what I have for a giveaway. Um, this one's mine, but I got two of them. So, somebody who buys stuff off of me over this Black Pink Friday weekend will be entered in to get one of these. And how freaking gorgeous is this? High quality, okay? I only, I only go for high quality. Alright. And uh, we're going to dip into this. So, I may or may not use this because I want to be kind of extravagant today. Alright, I think my primer is dry. You know what? It's one of those days I need two concealers. Look at this. This is really pissing me off. So my friend comes over the other day to buy some makeup, and she's like, "No, Randy, I'm selling like all the lip, all the lip scents, the foundation, climate control. Everything's tax free. I can't even remember. Let me think. Shadow scents two for forty plus a free brush. Buy a foundation tax free. You get a lip sense twenty five percent off." Um, 
buy a climate control tax free, you get a gloss for 15. It's like colorful and I posted everything I have in stock. It's on my, oh, hi, Hot Pookie, I'm live. You wanna say hi? No. Okay. Um, climate control, oh my God. Hey, Pook, are you still up here? No. Oh, I was gonna say, bring me my, can you bring me my climate control, please? I don't even know what that is. You don't know, it's like, all right, he doesn't know. Anyway, climate control is advanced hydration in the purest form. Um, it's like a gel. You, when you get it, you have to shake it up and activate it. And I put it on every morning and every night, like right after you wash your face, you put it on. It's the first thing. What it's going to do is, um, attract all the moisture, keep you hydrated. Do you see how nothing is better than the green? I mean, really like nothing is better than the green concealer. Um, I'm at the point where I need like three concealers though, because I'm like, I don't know. Randy, it should be on this Glam Junkies page. It's also on my business page and it's also on my personal Facebook page. You might want to type at the search bar if you're if you're on this Glam Junkies page, go to the little um that little magnifying glass and type in like Pink Friday or Black Friday, but there should be like seven pictures on the post because it's got like what the sales are and then all my stock. And girl, I got a raspberry. I got one raspberry. So you might want to take advantage of that, buy a foundation and get a lip sense 25% off. Go look around. Go look around. And I'm giving away those cool unicorn brushes. Here, wait, let me find mine because I always keep one for myself. Here's these sweet brushes I'm giving away with two Shadow Sense purchases, two for 40, so that's already a deal. And then you get a free brush on top of that. Oh yeah, everybody needs climate control, everybody. And then anything you put on top of climate control, it makes it work better. So all your anti-aging, I mean, you guys saw me like a year ago. I had that horrible cystic acne and I've had this horrible hyperpigmentation, which I still have, but it is much, much better. Um, you got to think over time, over time with continued use. It's really making a difference. Anyways, foundation time, my favorite time, because after I put my foundation on, I feel a little bit better. So I use two and a half pumps. Normal people use about one pump, but I am a full coverage fiend. You all know that. I gotta have my full coverage. And what a full coverage it gets. Um, so this one I'm using is actually the regular one, not the anti-aging. Um, I have both. Girl, I got like three more sitting right here. What you talking about? Almost gone. <laughs> I got, I have it all because I wear three different colors. Um, and then I need to be able to like make samples for people too. So <laughs> I always keep plenty. Girl, it'd be a sad day if I ran out of foundation. A sad day. I'd be stuck with this shit my mom got me, and I can't even use it. This, uh, this was, like, supposed to be so good, but it's so freaking oily. So oily. It makes me break out. Now, I do have a backup. I mean, if anything ever happened and I did run out, I'd, like, because remember when it was all, like, out of stock? I just ordered different colors and I was blending them together. And you just pat the foundation into your face too. Um, depending on what foundation you're using, it goes on better with your hands or like swiping. 
Cenogen's foundation is best just like tapped into the skin. Oh, I'm like a whole new person now. I'm a person again. So I want to go for some like really wild unicorn, mermaid, purple. So yeah, so like I said, I'm at the point where I need three different concealers, actually four. So now I'm about to put this as just some CC. I'm about to put this on. And then put um, the the shadow scents too. So that helps a little bit. This stuff is pretty decent too. So I just basically like use a million things. No, it's not in place. You want to put the climate control, then, well, I do climate control, serum, moisturizer, then tinted moisturizer, but you could do climate control, moisturizer if you wanted, or climate, climate control, um, serum, whatever you like to put on. Um, this is Eye Luminator. We need some of that too. So my husband's supposed to let me sleep in tomorrow. Let's hope that happens. I told him he ought to be paying for all this expensive concealer I have to buy. If either that or he's going to let me sleep. So he's going to let me try to sleep. I know. I am so excited. Going out with the She-Wolf pack. So you can see the eye illuminator really kind of brightens you right up there. This, oh my God, will last you forever. Like... You need one little dip, and then there you go. So, whatever I can't conceal, I usually cover up with glitter. Um, it's quite a process. Anyway, let's see. What's my baby? Oh, you know what? I'm going to prime. I'm going to prime my eyelids. I don't do this all the time, but... When you want it to really, really stay, I actually got this for free from Ulta, and I think it works. Actually, I was really inspired by um, that meme that Kate put up the other day with Christina Aguilera being all, like, gorgeous and um, mermaid and rainbow and unicorn. So I'm kind of going for that. Not completely as crazy, but pretty, pretty wild. Um, so I know I'm going to be using some of this. Where to start? Where to start? I'm going to start with this as a base. Oh, champagne. I don't know what this one is. Let's see. Is there a name? Satin blush, I think. Yeah, it works pretty well. So then I'm going to put this on. Just a really light coating of this because um, shadow scents can be worn alone, of course, but 
if you want to go for a super dramatic look and still use some of your um, palette eyeshadows or loose powder eyeshadows, this will actually act as like a magnet and it will help it stay on so much longer. And then it'll um, really decrease that fallout because there's nothing worse than doing your eyes all pretty and then all that stuff flaking down here. That sucks. Then you got to use more foundation. But I mean, really, if this was just a regular day, I could just put some shadow scents on and just go. But it's not a regular day. It's not a regular day. It's Pink Friday, and it's my girl Fifi's birthday celebration. So it is time to look fabulous. Okay. All right. I really want to try this and I am scared. I am scared. Does this not look like Violet Volt? So I bought this online from some chick. And I've n I've not heard of this makeup company. Here we go. If it sucks, you're going to have to watch me fix. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's tap that. So far, it's okay. You know what? I think we can do better than that. I think we can do a little bit better than that. Some random person online. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. This is Carity. This has got to be better. Let's do a little compare and contrast, shall we? Yeah, this is way more pigmented. Okay, this is going to my daughter. You get what you pay for. It was $5. I figured if I didn't like it, I'd give it to my daughter. Okay, yeah, Carity is much better. And I do want to throw some black in there, too, and some hot pink. I don't know where. I don't have a plan. I'm just winging it. Yeah, it's all right. It looked, it looked okay. I just think I have so many palettes, like, I mean, I have a, you know, I have a sickness. I'm, I'm an addict. I'm a junkie. I'm a makeup junkie. So, I buy a lot of palettes. I just don't, I think that one is just kind of unnecessary at this point. It is cruelty free though. I did make sure to look that up before I bought it. It is cruelty free. Now this is a nice color. Um but there's no shimmer. You gotta have shimmer. So let's see here. Um, so there's that one and there's this one. I know I'm totally down with the sickness. But that's all right because 
long ago, not so long ago, I was so broke, I couldn't even buy like a 99 cent Wet n Wild because I had to buy generic baby wipes as a single mother of three with no car and no phone. So now I don't care. I spend my money. I buy what I want. Because my bills is paid. And the kids always have good shoes on their feet. Yeah. So I really love Morphe. Like, if you guys want a really reasonable palette, these are like 20 bucks. And it's all about the blending. Like, you just use a bunch of stuff. Like, I, li I really have no plan. I'm just going to keep putting colors on until I'm satisfied. This is a decent brush too, Wet n Wild, 99 cents. Okay, so then kind of tap, and then we're gonna go down, and it's gonna be like a wing type deal. Morphe's really good about not having a lot of fallout too. And you know, I was, I bought like almost all of those unique palettes and they freaking fall out so bad. I'm like, God, this sucks. But I buy them like every time. All right. So I need a smaller one and go under my eye. Where's my little brush? I like this little one for going under. I think we're going to go ahead and go with this one. So many I haven't even touched. Really pretty for like nude brown looks. Um, how often do you ever see me in a nude brown look? But I was planning on doing a, like lots of them for fall. So I got all these new fall colors. Hello. Um... No, I didn't really get into totes oats. I just placed my posh order, though. I got the, um, I figure, shoot, free shipping over 25. I'm going to place multiple orders just to stick it to them because, um, I didn't get my free nice ice last night and I got, I got on there fast. I had like five things sitting in my cart. It would have been like 90 bucks. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to divide this up into multiple orders. See how you like that for taking my perks away. Hop on board the petty train, people, because I'll be the driver. So, yeah, I ordered the glitter, the hair, the hair glitter, and goodnight kisses. And I may hop back on there. So, yeah. Michelle, you like totes oats, don't you? Weren't you always talking about that one? That's the body mask, right?
Okay. So now I'm going to take like a lighter, ooh, hot pink, hot pink time. It's time for some hot pink. We got one right here that I've never touched. I've never touched it. I gotta just start using stuff. What do you do? Like leave it on, you put it on like lotion and then just stand around or what? That's why I never got it because I was like, I don't know if I can just stand around. I have so many face masks I have to use. All right, let's see if we can do. That looks like a pretty nice pink. Yeah, you'd need to send me that. I actually saw one um, that Mandy420 did last night, and it was so good, and I screenshotted it, and I was like, oh, I have to do that. But, like, every time I try to do something somebody else did, I just start wandering off and, like, doing my own thing. All right, check this stuff out. This is that Stylo stuff, and it's like iridescent as shit. All right, so I'm going to, like, line the underneath of my eye with that. That's what I did yesterday. I was just like that, and then I ended up blending all kinds of stuff. So, wait till you see the other one. Me too. So gorgeous. Look at the other one, though. So, Lindsay and Michaela both told me about these. And then, so I went there and I was like, oh my god. So I'm like obsessed now. Um, I've placed orders on Sephora.com like four days in a row now. Look at this one. I mean, is that freaking amazing or what? So, um, they came out with a, like, mini sampler of these. So that's on the way. And I can't remember what all comes in it, but I was thinking if one of them is the one that I already have, I'll do a giveaway. Lindsay did a giveaway for one of these on her page. So pretty. 
Okay, so now we're going to go in up here with Pink Opal Shimmer Shadow Sense. Me too. And I need to do one. I need to do a nude look because, like, I never do. Because I'll think I'll do a nude look and then I'm like, oh, no. I'm going, like, with hot pink or purple. I think purple I wear the most. And then since I dyed my hair blue, which was an accident, I bought a color that said indigo, which I kind of thought was like purple. Okay, so now watch how shadow scents will blend really, really nice. This really blends it out nice. Then, so I want to get the base all the way down before, oh, hi, Pook. Oh, you smell good. Well, you said I had a beard earlier. Too. Oh, yeah, you shaved, too. I oh, shave. I like you much better. Oh, come here again. I like it. I had a shave. <sighs> so pretty. Okay. Um, so yeah, so this is really gonna, you know, let's get some Anastasia going. Pink heart. I'm gonna be shiny like a unicorn today. You ordered Epic. It's so good. All right, so now I'm gonna blend all of this out with glitter. You can't just leave stuff unblended. Blending is blending is like the most important thing. I think hot pink and purple. Hi, cute thing. He's got um. Is that mommy rabbit? Now some purple. Not sure what kind of eyebrows to do. Probably light purple faded to blue. Yeah. And I've really been loving this Wet n Wild highlight palette for like the inside to go out. Um, 
things always, you know, you're always extra crazy at first. All right. Blue. Yeah, you really need to get it. It's almost sold out, you know. They just popped something up today on Facebook. It's limited edition. You might want to get on that. It's only 50 bucks, or I mean $15. So, when you're kind of like putting the finishing touches, um, it really helps to take one of these highlighting colors. Oh, hi, Dixie. I'm going with a unicorn look. <laughs> um, because it looks kind of funny when you have like the darker colors going all the way in but when you turn even when you use the highlight palette over it you can still kind of see it underneath and it shimmers so then that makes me want to use my silver shine Why do I always lose my silver shimmer? I mean, like, seriously. I need some lip gloss. My lips are dry. Do you have any Thanksgiving leftovers, Laramie? <laughs> because, I mean, if you need to get rid of any, I can come over. Dude, it's literally, my silver shine is gone. It is gone. Gone. Okay, so my silver shine is gone. It's somewhere. I'm going to use a little tiny dab of this pink opal shimmer again. And then go with some silver, silver glitter. Blend that out with some silver glitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, girl. I can put some purple in your hair or whatever color you're doing. This is that, um... Her name, Avril Lavigne. You know what? I should have went with the light pink. So, putting some glitter down here kind of helps with that whole dark circle thing, too. I got this stack of this Avril Lavigne stuff from Hot Topic. I've never used the pink. I can't even open it. All right. Oh yeah, get some get some manic panic. Where are you going to? Sally's. All right, let's do the eyebrows. We're gonna go with denim. Or get that punky color from Ulta.
I thought that, I think my blue's holding up pretty good. Oh, I got them on Amazon. They were a giveaway. I did giveaways on these. Now we're on to Unicorn. But I'll probably go back to um, Mermaid again after all the unicorn ones. I'll just alternate. I've been messing this eyebrow up for the past three days. Something's wrong with my, uh, my vision or something. I think it's because I have that lump there from when I had my eyebrows pierced. Got two lumps there. Eyebrows are not the easiest part of makeup. Not the easiest. Oh yeah, and those stencils I got, I'll have to show those to you on a day when I don't want to look so fabulous. Because they're pretty stupid. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I had Chris throw my new dress in the laundry. I might wear that. Hello, Emily. Your lipstick should be coming to you today. Tracking says today. Oh my God, the stencils are so stupid. Me and Michelle, I don't know if you're still on here, we got them. They do not work on me. I like thin eyebrows, okay? So they do look nice, but um, they don't look right on me, I don't think. But I did want to make a video about them because, I mean, they were kind of like a hot commodity there for a second. Okay. We'll see, I like thin eyebrows on myself. I prefer thin. So, I mean, these are like, you know, on trend with like people wanting really thick eyebrows. And I just, I think they look funny on me. They might not. I mean, it might just be my own brain thinking it looks weird. Like, you know how people think they look weird in something that they actually don't. They're just not used to it. I think I might go with amethyst or maybe a darker purple. Go with amethyst, and if it's not dark enough, I'll just put a darker purple.
Is it looking all right? All right. Eyebrows, I feel like, can make or break your whole look. I don't feel like I'm that good at them, but I'm better than some because I've seen some horrendous eyebrows out there. So what really, really, really makes it easier to do eyebrows is one of these slanted brushes. I don't think I could do it without a slanted brush. And then if I'm having like a shaky day, oh, it's horrible. This one I always mess up. Nothing a Q-tip can't fix, I guess. I don't know. Not my best job. They're a bit dark. <sighs> oh, thanks. I'm on YouTube, too. You need to find me. I don't know. I think I need to clean this up with something really light because I just think that these eyebrows are way too dark. Of course, it could just be me. I mean, people wear them this dark. People wear them black. And these aren't black. We need to fix it a bit. All right, I'm going to take the... I need another... You cannot have too many slanty brushes. I swear. These are like everything. It doesn't matter if you get a generic one or a high-end one because they're all amazing. Um, I'm going to clean this up just a tad by using a bit of this. Sharpen that up a little bit. Yeah. Razor sharp. See, I like to do my makeup when my husband's home and he can entertain the baby. Alright. Fix that a tiny bit. Anybody who says doing eyebrows is easy is lying. They are telling lies. Okay, I think we got the eyes pretty much good. I'm going to wear blue mascara. Oh, now i got to do my waterline. I'll do the waterline first. Always use waterproof on your waterline. Look at the difference. Waterline did. Waterline not did. So if you think you're like missing something, usually it's the waterline. And they call this tight lining. Usually, like, oh yeah, always. Some people can do their upper one. 
and I do not even know how they can even do that. I still need to blend out a little bit under here. I'm going to take the Lavender Shimmer Shadow Scents right under there and then blend. This so one's such a nice, light, opalescent color. That really popped it off there. This is such a pretty color. I actually wore this on my lips yesterday. I did one layer of Icicle, one layer of Violet Volt, one layer of this, then another layer of Icicle. I actually didn't put a whole layer of this on. I just kind of like painted it around like the highlighted areas. All right, so we're gonna jump over to contour and blush. So I love Senegin's, um bronze for the best contour. I'm just put some right there. Where's my favorite brush for contour? Where is it? Why am I losing things? I got a new brush that I washed. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Check this out. Okay, so this one is, I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's so comfortable to use too. Crown, let's see, all right. Oh yeah, that is really good for contour. Might even use some of this. Jeffree Star, Dark Horse. This is so pigmented, but I mean, I'm being so over the top today. I think this look calls for it, and it's freaking broken. So, look how freaking pigmented this is. <laughs> Toasted Rose. Or, um, you can use so much, you can actually use Mocha Java to contour. A lot of people do that. This is really, really over the top. 
This is just so ridiculous. I'm going to be doing a lot of blending here. That is a really deep But look at this, look at this, I'm chiseled to perfection. I know. This stuff is something else. Blending. Yeah. Now my face looks skinnier. Okay, so I'm going to wear more a couple different blushes because I'm kind of doing like a layery effect. This is so pretty. This was limited edition by Wet n Wild too. It's that light lavender purple. It's so freaking pretty. As you can tell, I wear this a lot. But I'm so loving the new Pinkberry Shadow Sense because it's so outrageous. Oh, look who's here. It's Flash. Let me show the ladies how cute you are. <laughs> oh, somebody screenshot him. Look how cute this baby is. <gasps> Isn't he the cutest? Right, come on, Flash. <laughs> Pull on me. You can walk flash your fast. So cute. Alright, so oh my god, you literally need like one drop of this. So this is gonna be super super pigmented. So pink, so pretty. That's the first time I didn't use a lot of it. I think we need a little more. How hot pink is that? So pink. So pink. Okay, so those were two very, very pigmented colors. So what I'm gonna do is take my huge brush that I use only for blending, and just kinda blend. Blending life faux show. Okay. 
Okay. Then, before I put on the purple sparkle over it, I'm going to clean this whole area up with some of this translucent powder. And this is the only powder I will wear because all the other powders give you like a dry, scaly look. Not Senegens. And I love these powders for powder, or brushes for powder. Dad, I want to take a phone. Um, no, because he doesn't have a case on it yet. I want you to take a phone. Only if you're sitting down on a bed or something. TK's phone doesn't have a new case yet. He can watch my tablet. serious. Oh, here it is. I wish they'd just make one all purple. Oh, that's such a nice lavender shimmer over that pink. Such a nice light lavender shimmer. Very pretty. Gonna use some pearlizer for highlight under something. Um, not sure which one yet, but it's going to be something really bold. Pearlizer is such an amazing glow. And then like all the Cenogens products, um, if you're putting it underneath something else, it's going to make it pop really, really well. Um, I think I'm going to go with Anastasia just because it's like we're going so extra today. And I really, really like the pink heart. It gives such a shine. And that just pops so well with that pearlizer.
think we need to go with just a little tiny dab of sandstone pearl shimmer right there. Okay, thanks, Fifi. I'll see you later. Getting all pretty just for you. Okay. So now we're pretty much done. Um, oh, wait. We're being extra today. We're not done. Blue mascara. So as you can kind of see if you were watching, it takes about, I'd say a good hour to put on a full face. I know, isn't it popping? takes a few coats, just like every other mascara, but once you get it going, Maybelline, So 
So yeah, it really pops. I got the purple one too, thinking that it was going to be so electric like this one is. Um, the purple was not. So it was kind of disappointing. Um, perhaps on someone with lighter skin and blue eyes, it may show up a bit better. I know, I love blue. Thank you. Yeah, it took a while. Blending is the name of the game. Put everything on heavy and then blend it out. So everybody knows the crisis of Violet Volt, it's still not back. Still not back. I got one, um, I hope this is dry. I got one about last year, around this time, and it's my favorite. I gotta show you this too. It's like gone. My Violet Volt Lip Sense is gone. Yesterday I had to scrounge for one coat over Icicle. Bring back Violet Volt. I mean, I, I can't not have, so I had to go and buy, um, I know none of my other lip senses are like that. Now a lip sense, if you wore it every single day, it would last you for six months. My daughter loves this one. I love this one. Purple's like my thing. Gone gone. Nobody can find any around here. Um, nobody can find any in the United States for that matter. All of us were hoping it was going to come back for Halloween because they said they were bringing it back. They didn't yet. We're hoping this weekend possibly. Anyways, I needed a purple lipstick. Um, I got this from Kat Von D. So I'm going to wear this one today. This is Televator. It's actually um, really, really gorgeous. I mean, it doesn't stay on as well as Lip Sense, but it's a good formula. Um, it won't smear. Like, it does come off a bit. Like, if I kiss somebody or if I drink, like, it will come off but it won't like smear down my lips. So um, it's not Lip Sense, but for anything else that's on the market, it's a decent formula. And I mean, this color is freaking gorgeous and foily. Really pretty, right?
It's really pretty. Uh, so it is a liquid lipstick. It is liquid. So I'm going to just bring this with me. Let it dry. Uh, it'll stay decently. I'll have to reapply. So I'll just take it with me. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to straighten my hair. And put on a cute outfit. And then I am going to be good to go. So... That's the finished look. So yeah, big difference from when I woke up this morning. Um, doing good makeup does take some effort. So, yeah. Finished look. Unicorn. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun for Black Friday. Um, I'm not going out shopping. I've just been going online shopping. And I have done plenty of that. So um, unless there's some really, really killer deals, I hopefully won't be doing any more. But we'll see. Um, but anyways, check out all my deals. And just message me and... I will, of course, post pictures after I do my hair. But I gotta go check on the baby and stuff and eat a banana before I do my hair. But, let's see. Oh, I use lots of makeup today. Lots and lots of different makeup today. So, yeah, she might like to watch. <laughs> But thanks for tuning in, you guys, and we will see you next time.